Butcher is fired for helping disabled man. Next day, she receives a call that changed her life. Elena's days at the supermarket were more than just a job. They were an opportunity to connect, to be part of the community's fabric. Her station behind the butcher counter was where she thrived, her hands skilled and sure as she expertly sliced through meat, her smile never wavering. To Elena, every customer was a friend, every request a chance to brighten someone's day. Her warmth and genuine care for those she served made her a beloved figure, a stark contrast to the cold, calculating demeanor of Mr. Clarkson, the supermarket's owner. Where he saw numbers and transactions, Elena saw faces and stories. On a particularly bustling Thursday, the store buzzed with the energy of shoppers weaving through aisles, carts filled with the promise of nourishing meals. Amid this symphony of daily commerce, Elena's attention was drawn to a man, his wheelchair a cumbersome chariot in the narrow lanes between shelves stocked high with goods. His struggle was silent but palpable, a quiet battle against the physical confines of his circumstances. Moved by a deep-rooted sense of compassion, Elena didn't think twice before stepping away from her post. Her apron, a badge of her dedication, fluttered as she approached the man her presence a sudden island of calm in his challenging sea. She offered her assistance with a kindness that was as natural to her as breathing, her actions a bridge over the obstacles he faced. Together they navigated the aisles, Elena reaching for the items just beyond his grasp, her laughter lightening the air around them. Other customers, witnessing this simple act of humanity, couldn't help but pause, smiles breaking over their faces like dawn. They saw in Elena a reflection of the community's heart, a reminder of the small acts that weave the fabric of kindness tighter around them all. Yet not all eyes that watched held warmth. Mr. Clarkson, from his vantage point, saw only disruption, a deviation from the efficiency and order he prized above all. His gaze, sharp and unforgiving, bore into Elena, marking the moment with a tension that rippled through the air. For him, the supermarket was a machine, each part expected to perform its function without deviation. Elena's compassionate detour was, in his eyes, a cog slipping its track, a threat to the smooth running of his operation. In that moment, the divide between Elena and Mr. Clarkson could not have been clearer. One heart beating with the pulse of human kindness, the other cold with the calculus of profit. Yet unbowed, Elena's spirit remained alight, her belief in the power of community and compassion as unwavering as ever. The morning sun barely hinted at the day ahead as Elena walked toward the supermarket, a familiar path now shadowed by trepidation. The air, usually crisp with the promise of new beginnings, felt heavier, thick with the uncertainty of what was to come. She had been summoned to Mr. Clarkson's office, an invitation that carried with it an ominous weight. Deep down, Elena harbored hopes of a simple reprimand, a slap on the wrist for stepping away from her duties, however noble that cause. Yet nothing could have prepared her for the reality that awaited. Mr. Clarkson sat behind his desk, a fortress of paperwork and cold efficiency, his expression as hard as the polished wood between them. The moment Elena entered, the air seemed to congeal, time slowing as if to brace for the impact of his words. He handed her a termination letter, the words abandonment of duties and unnecessary time spent assisting etched into the page like a verdict. Each word was a hammer blow, dismantling the future she had envisioned within these walls, a future built on the foundation of community and kindness she valued so deeply. Elena's voice, usually so full of warmth and laughter, trembled as she attempted to defend her actions. She spoke of the man in the wheelchair, of the community that thrived not on transactions, but on the connections forged between its members. Yet her pleas fell on deaf ears. Mr. Clarkson's face remained as impassive as stone, his decision unmoved by the passions of the human heart. He saw the supermarket not as a community hub, but as a machine, and Elena's act of kindness was in his eyes a wrench thrown into its gears. With a heavy heart, Elena gathered her belongings, her hands shaking as she clutched the symbols of her time here. The apron that had once been a badge of pride, the knife honed by countless hours of work, now felt like relics of a life abruptly ended. 
As she walked through the supermarket for the last time, the aisles she had known so well seemed to close in around her, the cheerful buzz of shoppers now a distant echo. The door closed behind her with a finality that echoed in her chest. A chapter ended not by choice, but by a cold calculus that valued profit over people. Yet even as she stepped into the uncertainty of the world outside, Elena's spirit, tempered by kindness and community, remained unbroken, a beacon of hope in a world often too quick to forget the value of compassion. In the quiet aftermath of her dismissal, Elena found herself adrift in a sea of uncertainty. The walls of her small home, once a sanctuary filled with laughter and the comforting aromas of home-cooked meals, now seemed to echo with the gravity of her situation. The weight of responsibility lay heavily on her shoulders, a relentless reminder of the bills that would not pay themselves, and the mother whose gentle smile belied her reliance on Elena's steady paycheck. The night stretched endlessly before her, a canvas painted with the shadows of her fears. Sleep refused to claim her, leaving Elena to wrestle with her thoughts in the silence. The ticking of the clock was a cruel countdown, each passing moment a step closer to a future she could no longer envision. The town, with its limited opportunities, seemed to shrink around her, its borders now the walls of a cage, from which escape felt impossible. Elena's passion for her craft, the joy she found in the art of butchery, and the connections it allowed her to forge within her community now felt like relics of a bygone era. Her heart ached with the loss, not just of employment, but a part of her identity, of the role she played in the daily lives of those she served. The act of kindness that had led to her downfall now seemed a naive gesture, a misstep that had cost her everything. The quiet of the night was broken only by the sound of her own breathing, a rhythm that seemed out of sync with the world around her. Elena's mind raced with plans and contingencies, each more desperate than the last. The prospect of leaving the town, of seeking opportunities in unfamiliar places, loomed as a daunting shadow over her thoughts. Yet the fear of the unknown paled in comparison to the fear of failing those she loved. As dawn's first light began to pierce the darkness, Elena sat amidst the remnants of her shattered certainty, the silence around her a stark contrast to the turmoil within. The path forward was obscured, the next steps unclear, but within her the embers of determination began to stir, kindled by the need to forge a new path, not just for herself but for her mother. In the face of overwhelming odds, Elena's resolve hardened. The road ahead might be uncertain, but she would walk it with the same compassion and strength that had always guided her. As the first rays of the morning sun pierced through the curtains, Elena sat at her modest kitchen table, surrounded by the scattered remnants of her professional life. Papers and pens lay in disarray, a tangible reflection of the turmoil within her. She was updating her resume, each word a struggle each sentence a reminder of the uncertainty that lay ahead. The daunting task of job hunting loomed over her, a mountain she was unsure how to climb in a town where opportunities seemed as scarce as drops of water in a desert. The sudden ring of her phone shattered the morning's solemn silence, a startling intrusion into her thoughts. Hesitant, her hand reached out, expecting perhaps a call from a well-meaning friend or a creditor demanding payment. Instead, the voice that greeted her belonged to none other than Marco, the disabled man she had helped just days before. His introduction was brief, but the news he brought was anything but ordinary. Marco revealed himself to be far more than a customer in need. He was a successful entrepreneur, the owner of a burgeoning chain of organic food stores. His voice, warm and sincere, conveyed a depth of gratitude for Elena's act of kindness, a stark contrast to the cold dismissal she had faced from her previous employer. He had heard of her unjust firing and was now extending a hand, not in charity but in recognition of Elena's talent and compassion. The offer he presented was like a beacon in the darkness. He wanted Elena to lead the butchery section of his newest store promising not just a better salary, but something far more valuable, creative freedom and the opportunity to build something meaningful. It was a chance to weave her passion for quality and service into the fabric of a new community, to start anew on her own terms. 
The emotions that swept through Elena were a mix of disbelief, relief, and burgeoning hope. Here was a lifeline, thrown unexpectedly, a testament to the unpredictable ways in which life can unfold. Accepting Marco's offer felt like stepping into a new day, the shadows of her recent past dissipating in the light of a promising future. Elena's story, marked by the unforeseen consequences of a simple act of kindness, was evolving in ways she could never have imagined. It was a poignant reminder that sometimes the most challenging moments can lead to the most extraordinary opportunities, that when one door closes, somewhere another opens, often in the most unexpected of places.